Hey witches, Tiffany here on Bewitching Bemused, if you don't already know me. Today I wanted to tell you guys about my first spiritual experience, which took place while I was on shrooms. So 12 years ago, I was in college um, studying theater, and myself and a big group of my friends decided that we were going to go on a camping trip and we were all going to do shrooms together. I should probably say that this story is in no way uh, trying to promote the use of shrooms because, I mean, I don't want to get into any legal trouble. So I'm not condemning or condoning this. Either way, I am a neutral party. It was a group of probably like 12 of us and one member of our party, she, um, her family owned something like eight acres of undeveloped property in Northern California in a little uh, town called Grass Valley. It was basically just wooded and grass fields and it was absolutely gorgeous up there. However, the weekend we were supposed to go, the forecasts were coming in in the days we were preparing, you know, the few days in advance we were preparing to go and it was supposed to rain all weekend. So everybody, everybody, except the girl who owned the property and myself backed out. And keep in mind at this time, I was not a pagan. I had dabbled a little bit in studying paganism, studying Wicca and new age practices and beliefs and a little bit in witchcraft, but very much just dabbled. I had not committed myself to it yet. It was not something I had really heavily studied yet or um, devoted myself to. So that is just one thing to keep in mind when I talk about this being my first spiritual experience, especially one that I didn't seek out on my own. I'll touch on that in a second. Keep in mind, this was in, it was 2009 or 2010, somewhere around there. So my friend went out there a day early and she had no cell phone reception. She had to walk back out to the road, drive down to use a payphone and call me and let me know, hey, people are not coming. Are you still coming? And if you are, feel free to bring a friend. In case you're wondering, it only ended up raining the first night and the three of us ended up popping a tent in an RV that some squatters had left behind. And it was, it was an experience, probably not one I would do again because nowadays I think about like, what kind of mold was in that RV that we were breathing in? And the next day, part of the floor collapsed in. <laughs> but luckily the rain stopped and we were able to set up our tents outside and it was absolutely gorgeous the rest of the weekend. So it was on a Saturday that we ate our shrooms. I really didn't know what to expect from the experience. I just knew that I wanted to have a fun time, a good time, um, but I also just wanted to have something, I, a mind opening experience. So I kind of just opened myself up to whatever happens, happens in either internally or externally, whatever happens, happens. A moment ago, I mentioned how this was the first spiritual experience I had had that I wasn't, I wasn't looking for. So I, maybe I take that back a little bit. I guess I was, I was looking for any kind of experience, whether it was a cathartic, you know, epiphany that I had, or it was a spiritual experience, or um, I bonded really well with the people there, whatever it was, I was open to it. Or if I was struck with inspiration on a, you know, in a creative, um, in a creative level, I was good with that too. I was just kind of open to whatever. I can't say that I was specifically seeking out spiritual, a spiritual experience, but I can't say that I was like, no, not even thinking about it at all. So when I mentioned that I had had a spiritual experience before, um, it was when I was actually a, for a very short period of time, a church going Christian. But at the time, what I felt was God that I was feeling or God's presence or a holy or spiritual presence was when we were all singing together as a group that kind of got a little bit tarnished for me because over time I started to realize that I got that same feeling outside of church and I got that same feeling not singing gospel music or Christian rock music. I got that feeling when I felt like there was um, unity in a group. I've gotten that same feeling at a Queen concert and that same feeling at a metal festival when it's this huge crowd of people and 
everybody is in tune with one another and we're all singing the same thing. And I just think that I couldn't define it as God in terms of the Christian God, because I wasn't feeling it because I was in church. I wasn't feeling it because we were singing about God. I was feeling it because I felt connected to my fellow humans. And so that is in its own way, a type of spirituality, of course, but it wasn't the Christianity that I was seeking. And, um, but that was the only time previously that I had really felt a, 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 a spiritual experience or a spiritual connection. Back to our camp out, we ate our shrooms, we hung out by the fire while making breakfast and uh, kind of just waited for him to kick in. And then we wandered off onto the property and we didn't bring anything with us except our jackets, just in case, um, some waters, one Ziploc baggie with hand rolled cigarettes because I did smoke cigarettes at that time, another Ziploc baggie of joints and an acoustic guitar. And I mean, let me tell you folks, I had a great time. I did actually have a lot of internal epiphanies and I did really bond with the two people that I was with. And man, we just, I really got into tune, in tune with nature. I was already an avid hiker at that point, And I had already, I mean, I had felt like I was in tune with nature, but nothing like I was when I was there. And all throughout that day, it was just like, I could feel the plants breathe. I could feel the very life in the plants around me, the grass, the trees, the bushes. I felt very cognizant and aware that they were these biological entities that, that eat and drink and they have their own manner of breathing just because they don't have human lungs and you know, a human heart to pump human blood with a human stomach, they were still doing those things. They still had all of their own processes to survive. And it just, I mean, it's one thing to know that on a very, you know, like, well, yes, of course, like common sense kind of logical level. And it's another thing to actually feel very much aware of it in the moment and sense it. It's a completely, it's, I, I can't even really put it into words. If you've seen the movie Midsommar, uh, that moment when they've all taken shrooms, it's towards the beginning of the movie and she's walking around and everything kind of looks like it's pulsating. That is spot on. That was very, very much what it kind of looked and felt like but it was like I could feel the vibrations of everything around me. But the real moment where things really struck me is we got back to camp. We did get lost at one point, but we did, yes, safely make it back to camp. We were standing around the fire and I remember standing there and I'd taken my shoes off and I was just standing on the, the dirt, which was still, it wasn't muddy from the rain, but it was still soft. And I, you know, you could still smell the, the, uh, the moist soil. And I was standing there and I felt myself slowly sinking into the ground, just, just millimeters, you know, just millimeters into that soil. And I just got this vision of roots sprouting from the bottoms of my feet and the bottoms of my toes down into the earth and sinking deeper, deeper down. And then I felt and was just, I wasn't purposefully visualizing these things. These were the visions that were just coming into my mind's eye. I wasn't, I wasn't like visually hallucinating them. Let's just be clear. It was in my mind's eye, but I was just like standing there, just staring into the fire, feeling all of this and seeing it in my mind without trying to will my mind into any particular direction. I wasn't, I was just accepting whatever visions I was receiving basically. And I saw the roots, you know, burrow deep down and then I could feel and see and sense this energy coming up these roots into me and energy from me going down the roots and back into the earth. And it was the most exhilarating and peaceful thing I had ever experienced. I felt both energized and soothed and calmed all at the same time. It wasn't just a feeling of an exchange of energy though. I had 
that feeling in my heart and in my being that I was tapping into something so much greater than myself. It wasn't just the immediate soil that I was tapping into. It wasn't just the grass and the bushes and the trees that were in my immediate proximity that I felt connected to. It, I felt connected to everything. And that I think was the moment when I realized I work with the universe. I worship the universe. I don't have a deity and that's okay. I feel and I can be in tune with the all, with everything, with the, with the sky and with the ground and with other people and everything around me. That's when I first felt like really connected as a part of the, on a whole cosmic scale. I, I, I stood there experiencing that for what felt like hours. Let's be real, I was on shrooms and I was smoking weed, so it was probably only like 10 minutes, but, but it felt like hours at the time, but I never got bored. I was just feeling this ebb and flow of energy coming and going and coming and going and passing through me and passing back down. And it was so amazing. But what was really crazy was that was kind of it. You know, I eased back out of it, back into myself. And I, we sat down around the campfire, kind of came down um, from our trip. We had dinner and then the next day we hung out, we took a walk, we had breakfast and then we headed out and went back home because we had to go back to school. Then it wasn't until a few years later because that whole experience might sound very familiar to most of you because what I was doing was grounding and I had no idea that I was doing it. Now, like I said, I had, I had read a little bit about witchcraft and paganism, but really most of it was Wicca and it was very surface level stuff, kind of just reading stuff about the God and goddess and things. I wasn't reading practices. I, I hadn't read anything about practices yet. And so it wasn't until a few years after that, that when I really started studying the practice of witchcraft and, you know, what it is to be a peg, what it means to be a pagan and reading about paganism and studying it that that's when I learned about grounding and centering and learning about that exchange of energy with the earth and visualizing roots extending from your body into the earth in order. And I was like, I did this. I remember the first time reading that and I just thought I did this and I didn't, nobody instructed me. I would never read this before. It just happened naturally. And that was crazy. I mean, that was so validating, I guess, in a way, like, like in the moment, it was amazing and it felt purifying and peaceful. And I felt in the right place. I felt that I was where I should be. Um, not just like where I, my physical location, but also I was doing something that I needed to do. Um, and it was something that I did from time to time but it wasn't, an, I, I never realized that it was an actual practice that had an actual name and an actual purpose other than just like, I do this because it brings me peace. That is one reason to ground, but it's not the only one. And, and I, I had no idea. I thought I was just kind of like doing a, having a cool experience that uplifted me and made me feel in tune with the earth and with nature. But gosh, I, I, ugh when I first read about grounding in a context of practicing paganism, pa practicing witchcraft, I was completely gobsmacked. Like, holy shit, I've done this. I've done this of my own accord because a vision came into my mind when I was tripping balls on shrooms. So anyway, <laughs> I wish I had known at the time that there was a name for what I was doing and that it was something that lots of other people do and that there was a, a, a additional purposes for doing it. Um, because if I had just been given the name witchcraft or paganism, I, I would have latched onto those things so much sooner. I don't regret having the years where I didn't practice because I mean, they're in the past now. What, what can I do about them? I eventually came around to paganism and witchcraft. It just took me a bit of time and that's fine. I just think it's kind of cool. I, like. 
oh, I was a practitioner before I realized I was a practitioner. Comment below, I would love to hear about your personal first spiritual experience. If you wanna know more about centering and grounding, which is what I talked about through most of this video, go ahead and check this one out right here. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.